reports. We have the quarterly financial report. Ms. Black. Um, yes, sir. In your packages, you have the first quarter financial statements. Um, just a few notes about those. Column, um, the first column, fiscal year 2013 actual, those are audited numbers. Um, FY14 amended is the amended budget and the year to date um, for 2014. Those are not complete. There are still entries being made to complete 2014. Um, but those were the numbers as of the week before last. And then you have your 2015, which is your first quarter only. Um, there are some statements in here that are for information only. Um, for example, your drug seizures, um, law library, some things that are recapped at year end, and also SPLOS 4 and SPLOS 5, um, which have very little money left in them, but those projects are being completed. Um, and they're in there for a matter of information. More specifically, um, the general fund, which is your first page there, some things to keep in mind in the first quarter. Um, the majority of your revenues um, come in during the second quarter, so your, your revenues look kind of low for the first quarter. Um, your property taxes, which is your majority of that, will come in during the second quarter. If you look at your expenditures, you can see that most of those are in line with one quarter, with the exceptions being your culture and recreation and housing and development, and um, those come in at the very last of the year. Those are part of those ending entries, um, but everything else looks to be in line. Um, if you have some specific questions or like more information, I have that available. Any questions for Ms. Black? Yes, I have a quick one um, regarding the law library. I noticed it's you know it's a hundred thousand, but has it been spent already? Or because I noticed on the expenditures it has a hundred thousand too. Um, we we do not keep um, the law library on the books of the county. It is reported in your audit, and we do have to budget for it. That is maintained by the courts, and then at the end of the year, we go in and recap that information and pull it into our into our financials. So we have it there just because we have to have it there no matter what. But, right. Um, and, and the same thing goes for drug seizures. Um, the sheriff maintains that, and at year end, we have to go in and pull that information from the sheriff's, sheriff's department and bring it into our financials. Okay. And also, um, in regards to SPLOS 7, it says we've brought in roughly $10 million, um, so far. Is that us alone or just? No, that is, that is all the governments. We have to... We have to pull in all of the government's revenues, and then we show disbursements for um, those other governments. Do you think we're on track based on what we projected, or we, we're falling a little short? Um, we have. Um, we're still having lots of ups and downs on that. Um, I think we may be just, um, we may be closer to our projections. Um, it is low for the um, overall projection but it's closer to the numbers that, that we're using for our projection, the numbers that you heard at your retreat last year. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Ms. Black. 